Hello, my name is Chris. Welcome to today's book look, looking at A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin in a library binding. So, after we took a look at a Game of Thrones Mars Paperback Edition last time, today we are looking at the library binding of the same book. For those of you who don't know what a library binding is, basically it is the same paperback edition put into a cardboard to make it more durable. Um, as you can see here, it is basically a paperback edition just put in some kind of hardcover to make it more sturdy for the use. When you look it up um, on the internet it says it is for schools and for libraries but maybe it can give you a bit of value too. When comparing it to the mass paperback edition we can notice that it's basically exactly the same book. So this one is a sink. Let's look it up. Yes, this is the 2013 bus book ma mass market movie tie-in edition. So it is a bit newer and you can notice this difference. Well, mainly because the maps are different. So let's take a look at it. Yeah, the maps are a bit different compared them. And you can see that um, the paper is a bit brighter. But this is not um, because it is a different paper, it's just this book is a lot older than the library binding I have here. The paper itself is the same, so the things I said about the mass market um, paperback edition last time are also true for um, this library binding. The paper is very thin. The font is small and um, the line spacing is very small as well. And when we're looking at the last page, you will notice it's exactly the same. So, when looking at the library edition and asking us what do we have to pay to get a more sturdy outside, oh, it comes at a high price compared to the mass market paperback edition. It's $14. Um, and that is quite a lot of money, considering um, that the inside is the same as well. So I assume that you will um, get a bit of the ink on your fingers, but um, the book will last longer. I mean, that's the idea behind the library um, binding, right? So that when using it at school or library, the book lasts for as long as possible for a small price. Um, when looking at the dimensions, um, we can see it's um, pretty much exactly the same. How do they um, make this happen? Um, the pages are a bit smaller. You can see this here. Um, the space between um, the text and the border of the page is a bit smaller on the library binding edition. So the pages are a bit smaller, but through the binding it has um, practically um, the same exact um, dimensions at, as the paperback edition. All in all it are over 800 pages and you have the small preview I told you last time about as well, about the Clash of Kings. So you have a paperback edition with this book that has been put into some kind of hardcover. But you can get um, the same book, basically the same book for a much lower price. So I would rather go um, with the paperback edition because um, the value you gain for spending almost twice as much is not that great. And you can't buy this book in the box set edition I told you about last time where you get all five books that are currently available for this series for about 25 to 27 dollars. When looking at the book I think it's a great choice for schools and libraries but for the home use 
I think the paperback edition is enough and you can save a lot of money with it. Thus, this book only gets 2 out of 5 stars. The binding is nice and the cover is nice. I give you that. You can see it's quite shiny. But still spending so much money just um, to get a hard binding. I think we will get an idea why I do not like this version as much when we look at the hardcover version next time. If you have questions about this book in particular, want to leave a comment or recommend me look at another book, please leave me a comment, send me a message. And thanks for watching this version of Book Look and see you next time. Acabando de